Hey guys and welcome to this week's um, tutorial. Again, we're doing another Luminar 4.2 tutorial and we are looking at looks. So basically what a look is, is something you add to... You can either use it to create this style of an image or the way I use it is I use, it, I use looks to finish my images off. Um, so once I've got so far with a composite and I've got all the composite elements together and I've got the color grading when you use filters it's usually destructive so I use them right at the very end but what you can do is once you get to that point is you can experiment and you can usually get a style or a feel what you sometimes would find very hard in Photoshop to get so let's just dive into Luna and I will show you the looks and I'll also show you how you can dissect the looks and see how they were created. So as always, I use Luna from inside Photoshop, but you can also use it as a standalone, as I've said many times before. So let's use it on this image here. So let's go up to filter. <coughs> let's go down to Skyland software. And let's just click on Luna 4. So the interface will load up and your image will appear here in this interface. So as you can see, all the looks appear at the bottom here. You've got a um, dialog box here which has all the different looks in. So you've got essentials. So essentials has things like the image enhancer, contrast enhancing, here's your mobile mood enhancer, color cast, uh, removal so it's kind of got the basic um, adjustments for images but then you get more stylized things like street photography landscape portrait lifestyle and dramatic uh, and aerial i tend to use dramatic looks on my images so you, you click on dramatic you get the dramatic selection and you've got all these looks here and there's a fair few different looks so the one i tend to use most is the dramatic look so what it does is it applies a various uh, adjustments from the uh, tool panels and applies them into one look and again you can change the amount of the look so let's go to another one so let's see film noir I click on that so it's made some black and white but kept to the reds and then we've got um, what's another good one? Let's try Blockbuster. So we've got the Blockbuster one again. This is I'm guessing overdoing the teal and the orange like they do in the movies. But again, if you wanted to, you could go up and down like so. And then one I've been using recently is Remarkable. It probably won't work on this image. It doesn't look too bad. But again, that is a good uh, one I've been using. So again, this is adjustable. So let's go back and go to dramatic look. Well, let's see what creative does. So not much difference with creative. Again, you can go up here and see the before and after. So that's before, that's after. So it, it looks like it's desaturated the image a little. So let's go to dramatic. Let's lower that down. And once you've chosen the look and then you lower it down, you can just go to apply and it will apply that look to your image. So th the way the looks are created is it, basically it is various tools from all these uh, panels here and they're all stored as a look. But you can also dissect these looks. So say if you wanted to use the film noir look but you and you wanted to work out how that look was achieved all you would have to do is go to the side panel here and see where the um, essentials panel is lit up uh, in the list of all the tools the vignette has been used color has been used in AI structure and you can tell this because they are lit up so if we click on that we can see that the AI structure has been pulled to 41% if we go to color you can see that the color cast has been pulled down to zero. Remove color cast. And we've got a vignette. We can see um, there's a vignette 
and this uh, closed subject, the amount has gone down to minus 46. So you can actually dissect how your looks have been uh, created. So let's go to Remarkable. So if we go to Remarkable, we can see that the AI Enhance has been used, the vignette has been used, but now the Essentials, uh, sorry, the Creative panel has been used as well. So if we click on that, we can see that the Color Styles has been used. Uh, and the wooden color style LUT has been used and the saturation and the contrast have been changed as well. So let's do one more. So if you go to, let's try something, let's try Crushed. This one looks a little bit crazy, although we wouldn't want to use that, but um, we can see what's gone into using this. So the creative panel has been used, so dramatic has been used in this one, mystical, so the shadows have been pulled down and the amounts have been pulled up. And then also on this one we have the portrait section where it's been used. So the high key has been put up to 100%, the dynamic high key has been put up to 100%. Uh, so that's all the various elements what went into creating this. So obviously we wouldn't want to use something like that on, th on this image anyway. But what you can actually do as well is you can not only apply these looks but you can adjust them so say if you wanted to use the film noir obviously we've got what the settings that have been used on here but then you could come in and add your own settings so say if you wanted to add some let's have a look so what it say if you wanted to add some glow so you could just come in now click onto the glow choose your kind of glow, let's go with soft dog spray actually, and let's just pull the amount up. So we're just getting more glow from the light here. And then we could, let's not add some fog, let's go to the details enhancer as well, let's bring up the details, small details, and let's bring up the medium details. So you're really getting that kind of detail in the model's face here. So that's before and that's after. So basically what you've done there is we have taken a look but then adjusted that look as well, added things that we wanted to it. And all you would do then, if you wanted to um, save, you could go to save new look and save it as um, film noir version 2 or something along those lines. So also what I want to show you is if you have your looks, we've gone into the different looks you have, we've got essential street, but what you can do is if you go down here you can actually get more looks from the from Lunar. So if you click on here it will bring up this web page and if you go down there is signature looks by other creatives. So you've got landscapes, you have captivating cityscapes, you have adventure and travel, you have wonderlust. So all these are by uh, well-known creatives and Luminar have got them to create these looks specifically uh, for, for in their style and on the images that uh, they have created. So let's go down, we've got Festival Vibes by Trey Ratcliffe, we've got some by Justin Lim. So one of my uh, favourite photographers is, I'm probably going to say his name wrong, is Ilya Nodia. So let's go and have a look at his cinema, cinematic colour looks. So we go to the page and you get these looks here. So all these cinematic looks for £23. So let's go to learn more. So what we can do here is you do actually get a few free samples to use, but then if you want as well you can that pay for the premium ones so you have Dangerous Neon here which for me looks pretty amazing. Action Spy Badass Club but let's go up and just download one of the free ones. Let's go for <coughs> this one here looks quite nice so let's click on that. You can see the difference when you slide it along. So It's desaturating and pulling out some detail
also it tells you some information about the looks of the the artist and the story behind them so let's all you need to do to get the free looks are is to put your name in and your email so what i'll do is i will do this i'll get the free looks and then i will jump right back in and show you how to apply them so the looks i've downloaded so to apply the new looks um to the uh, luminar look selection what you want to do is go up to file add luminar looks and then wherever you have saved the uh, download you want to go into that folder so i saved it to downloads under free cinematic color looks click on that let's press open uh, let's go to luminar looks and press open so that will then add that to your looks panel so we're going to here now we now have in our selection the free cinematic color look so we click on that we now have the cinematic look in our uh, looks panel so we've got authentic grande green notebook royal fun and shallow but this is the wrong image for that so when i bring in the the next image into into luminar we will i'll go over these looks again but what i'm going to show you next is i'm going to show you how to create your own looks and save them and keep them in the looks panel so let's um, cancel this let's go back into photoshop let's switch to the next image so this is one of my images i created uh, a while back so let's go to filter skylum software luminar 4 again these looks vary on every diff every every image is different so the looks will vary on all the specific images so the last imi image was very dark and low key so it was harder to see some of the adjustments on from the looks so if we now go into uh, the looks panel so we again have the looks from Ilya Nuria so let's go and have a click on uh, green notebooks the green oh this is looking pretty cool actually so it's bringing out the detail and it's uh, adding darks to the image so this is royal fun so this is desaturating pulling out the detail again this is shallow and then we've got the authentic randy Again, it all depends on what image you have, and you can always lower the amount as well. You never really want to use 100% on these looks. I'm always going to bring it down a little bit. So let's go back. So for me, I, I, I like the royal fun. So it's just only subtle, but we're just desaturating, taking out some of the colour and getting that real movie poster feel to the image. But what, what I want to do now is, I've just got rid of that um, filter, is I want to create my own look. So usually when, as I mentioned before, when I get to the, when I get all the composite elements together, I get a final colour grade, I will use uh, plugins like the Luminar to add the finishing to an image. So as you can see here, this image is pretty much nearly done, but I just want to finish it off with a few little extra details. So what I would do, is I would come into uh, details enhancer I always like to pull out the details in an image and let's pull this up to about 18% let's bring up the medium detail by 5 and I never really use large details let's just pull up sharpen to about 7 so that's really pulling the detail and the sharpness out of this image so what I want to do then is let's have a look at color balance as well I want the this image here this part of the image um, the Sun's kind of coming through the sky here so I just want to bring some of these uh, some warmth into the temperature and add some of that contrast back in So we're going for the um, movie poster look. So it looks a little bit dark here. So what you can always do as well is just 
pull up the shadows a little bit like so so can you see all the detail down here I could even try some sun rays if we wanted over this side like so brighten up that image as well a little bit add some dramatic to it So that's the that's the before and that's the after. So once you've got the image as well, so when you've got the finishing touches to how you like it. So we've got the image here. We've finished. We've put the finishing touches in, but we want to maybe we've got a series of these Im these images and we want all the same effects applied to each separate image. What you can do is just save this look. So you can save it as a new look, and let's call that action poster. one and we can save that so when we go to our looks you have user luminar looks so let's just click on Arial and let's go back to the menu and we have user luminar looks and this is where all your saved looks go so let's click on that and as you can see action poster one is here so when you bring all the other series series of images into luminar um, you can apply the finishing touches with one click by just clicking on action poster here and it just makes the process so much easier so I hope that's filled you in a little bit, a bit more on looks and how looks are created and how you can create your own looks and for me I on every single image I pretty much the last 5% or 10% is always coming into um, a plugin like Luminar and adding the finishing touches to a to an image so thanks guys if you've got any questions feel free to leave a comment below and i hope you found this very helpful thank you